Hello everybody and welcome back to the Half-Life channel? No, well, it is kind of a channel about VR, the DCAC channel, um, not just VR coding, anything kind of like hectic related, but in this episode we are looking at two maps and uh, they are actually uh, Steam Home environments that you can try out for yourself. I'm not sure about the exclusivity, I've read something about being exclusive only to to index owners, I don't own an index kit, I only own the controllers, maybe that's why I got to, to use them, but I think you, everybody can use and explore those maps. Uh, I, I think you only are not allowed to save them for some reason, doesn't matter. The key imp important thing here is that these are maps from Half-Life Alex, and basically it kind of gives you an idea of what the game would look like. Of course, it is not about playing the game in this case, it is just looking around, seeing the, the textures, get a feel of how the game would, would feel like having uh, play like while playing it afterwards. And uh, I gotta tell you, just looking at this <laughs> big thing, like looking at the trailers, you don't really get this sensation of like you have to, your, your brain has to work on like extra to kind of give you a sense of that okay yeah this thing would be huge and uh, to be like way to the distance and in VR you just look at it and you're like wow that's a huge ass skyscraper like in real life when you look at one it feels exactly like that it's it's crazy I gotta tell you and like <laughs> like just the textures it, it I, I actually uh, hung around between the two maps already and uh, my initial impressions are like you you constantly forget that this is a game like you constantly you're like okay of course it's a game right and then I, I look at something and like oh fuck like like I don't know like uh, here in this hallway you're like oh yeah shit am I going to to some some weird ass old building right now and you're like no 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 it's a game it's you're, you're not in <laughs> inside of a small alley or something like that it's actually a game uh, it, your brain constantly kind of surprises you that that it actually thinks about this as a real real situation it's it's crazy also by the way i'm digging this <laughs> like for everybody that uh, that's from my country like that's in Bulgarian, and I've seen, for example, stuff like stuff in in Russian as well, and I've seen stuff in a couple other languages too. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, so the, the, it's kind of like a mix of like a mix of languages being used. For example, there was English here. Um, what I can say more, performance-wise. It is okay. I'm using a GTX 1080, so I was expecting actually a bit better. Like I was expecting to kind of oversample with about like 20-30% because they were advertising the 1060 being the minimum. And I'm assuming because uh, it was said that this is not the engine that's going to be used for the game. This is basically SteamVR's uh, engine or something that, that was used in other SteamVR environments. It's not the official Source 2 engine. Uh, and that's why maybe it doesn't run as well, and it still still runs well. Uh, just at some in some cases you can actually start projecting a bit more than, than you wa might want to. But other than that, like it just feels good. It, it, there's plenty of physics uh, physics going around. For example, I really like this thingy. Like you can just grab this one, right? And. Let's see, I've never actually done golfing, but you can just golf. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> that shows you that I don't know nothing about, uh, I don't know anything about golfing, right? And yeah, physics, man. Like, look at that. Take this, take the trash out of it, or just have it there. Just come here. Oh no, where did it go? Uh, maybe when I teleported, it stayed there? Yes, it did. I will still take you. You stay with me, okay? Oh no. Oh, that's a bug. 
Dolph, you gotta fix that. Okay? You gotta fix that. There. You take some of them, put them in the trash. Okay? It's 2020. You gotta be responsible. <laughs> you just put it on my head. Doesn't work. Another bug. Come on. Uh, all jokes aside, aside, it looks fantastic. Like the whole scale, like the sense of 3D is there. It's so much there that, like I said, it kind of lies to you that that you think like, okay, yeah, that that might be a diff uh, like a real, real, real apartment building in some, I don't know, like uh, old area of any, some city or something like that. It, it's it feels like it. Um, Oh, oh, aliens. And yeah, just the whole experience. I think it will be an awesome game. So, um, without being, like without spending, wow, it, it, every, time, every time I look at it, like with all these power lines, I wonder what that's about. They're sucking all the energy somehow. It looks scary, man. It looks big and it looks scary. They did the perspective really well. Um, I'm not gonna be spending way too much time because, I mean, it's not a real game. It's more of, a, of an exploration thingy. And the best way to do this is to actually explore it yourselves. Um, I'm going to be quickly going over the other map as well. And yeah, that will be it for this video. So let's go to the other one. So straight away, something that you can do in VR that actually feels interesting to do in VR by comparison. I just go there. I was like thinking about, oh fuck, the same thematic with the cables and all right. Where do they go? Oh, they go somewhere here underneath. Wow, okay, let's... Uh, actually kind of like crawl underneath right and actually look where they go <laughs> oh my fucking god you can imagine like being scared by a crap like a head crap from there like jumping <laughs> that would be a freaking scare man that's actually not not healthy i think some people would jump back and maybe hurt themselves so they, they wouldn't do that i guess um but yeah this is the second one. Oh, a camera i didn't notice that one that's nice a nice one like i said things look i don't know how they made it but they look so realistic to me uh and i'm not joking so obviously there's nothing here or maybe there is something ha. Ha. No? Ha. Ha. okay i guess i had to press on it last time i didn't have to buggy Buggy, again, Valve. <laughs> again, uh, for people that are... Can I do something with it? I know I can do this. And kind of change it, its hue. Which is freaking hilarious. Okay, I guess I cannot. What is this? Can I open it? No? Man, I'm, I'm like... I feel like there's like a, a bunch of secrets here that I don't know about. Like there's some cabbage. Oh. Do not eat this chicken. I guess I won't. Water flavor. Water flavor. That's some flavor. Also, I really like those graphics cards, like old school graphics cards. But this is just like a graphical thing, right? I'm just... When, once you visit it, you will understand why it feels so amazing. Um, quickly, for everybody that's into uh, Easter eggs, I think there's a bunch of stuff that maybe Gravity 4, use this one, final final, <laughs> or what was the other one, please work, 
please work. That was a good one. Uh, and yeah, incinerator. I mean, it's probably a bunch of stuff that that uh, that people can glean from some of those hints scattered all around. Uh, for me, I don't know. I'm I'm not that person. Uh, not that type of person that actually collects uh, all those things. I actually just. I mean, maybe, maybe I, I, I do for some things. It's been a while, I guess. So I, I'm not up to date. But for anybody that's into hunting, this type of stuff, it's gonna be uh, probably worthwhile. So again, this is uh, where they would pr probably be experimenting with the gravity gloves. And I guess, I guess this is where you get them. And I didn't notice uh, at the very end of my first uh, like like walk around like if you look up you can see the gravity gloves in action <laughs> they were actually throwing stuff all around the, the room and it just feels so real i don't i cannot describe it how did they do it wow how did they how did you do it um what i wanted also to do and this will be basically the end of the video more or less um i wanted to kind of get into this room here and no actually no let's see where am I in the room something like this I guess as you can I mean in the real game you would be able to walk freely without having to worry about this like this, but wow, it does feel amazing, man. Like just just looking around, you're in the Half-Life world. How crazy is that? Into the world, not just playing it. Like I can remember being a child playing it. And of course it was, they were great games, but now being able to actually go inside the half-life world and that feels crazy man it's kind of like you cannot really believe it but anyway i'm going to be leaving this video for now for here uh, uh, at this point and i hope you guys are stoked as me to play the new half-life game uh if you haven't tried vr maybe it's worth waiting a bit to to try vr because right now it's not the best time to socialize with people but once things settle down definitely try it out. I mean, I think this will be a game that will sell systems. It just feels like it. There's still things that we haven't seen when it comes to mechanics. Uh, maybe maybe there's uh, not enough mechanics that are fun, fun, fun to, to play with. I doubt it. Um, we still don't know how the story would pan out. But other than that, if they nail these two things, the graphics are already there and it's been said that the source engine will actually look better and there were comparisons on the internet to, to prove that and if it looks even remotely like this it's already a winner i think so yeah hope you enjoyed this one hope you are stoked as me about playing half-life alex it's coming out this monday it's like in three days <laughs> it's crazy and also if you only bought like everybody that bought the index kit gets the game for free. If you bought the controllers, you also get the game for free. So maybe you didn't know that. So here you are, you're so lucky, right? <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, have fun guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.